I'm from Ottawa, Canada, and I started cycling because my dad raced and I used to go to races with him. And then I started racing and taking it seriously from there, yeah. I've done track for the last five years and, and they were pretty pretty excited about that and, and going to the Olympics, but my dad was always, you know, I can't wait till you do road, I can't wait till, you know, see how far you can go on the road, it's so cool. So we used to watch all the pro races together when I was younger and, and it's, yeah, it's pretty cool to be able to race them this coming year. I'm curious with a full calendar this year to see what kind of rider I become. Um, for sure last year was, was a huge learning curve, uh, starting road full time and, and trying to find the dynamic in the peloton with the pro teams. So I, I don't have an answer for that, but hopefully this year I can find out. Uh, I used to, especially over COVID, spend a lot of my free time uh, birding, you know, just going out, looking for rare birds, taking pictures of birds, so. <laughs> I saw a summer tanager <laughs> at the southernmost point of its range. So I know this makes me sound like an old person, <laughs> but yeah, I really love love birding. <laughs> I think a successful season would be to really find what kind of rider I can be, you know, in, in the pro peloton and, and really discover where my strengths are, where my weaknesses are, and hopefully to make, make big contributions to, you know, the big guys on the team, the guys who have been pro and can really go for those massive wins. And, and yeah, a big part of it will be doing a big variation in the types of racing I do and, and to come out of 2023 with a good picture of, of how to progress and start to get results in 2024 and 2025.